kuleta amani lakini hamwezi kutuambia tukae chini na yule mtu amelete fujo tungeomba viongozi wa kanisa tumekuwa na amani huyu mzee ndiye amelete fujo muende muite huyu mzee mumuongeleshe akikosa kusikia mumuombe abadilike atubu awache fujo akae kama wa Kenya wengine lakini sisi hatuwezi kukubali kuketi chini na muhalifu ambaye anaharibu mali ya wa Kenya we cannot sit down with somebody promoting criminal acts it is against any known law kukaa chini na yule muhalifu kwa hivyo rais wetu tunakuunga mkono endelea kuendesha Kenya na ulide usalama wa Kenya na huyu mzee anasema ati rais atamjua sasa ati anakemea huyu kemani ichungwa ati ndandini nyoro na mimi ati kwa sababu jamii ya wakikuyu pale imesema mahali yao haitaharibiwa na kama ataharibu atakutana na hawa sasa anataka ati kuingilia sisi sisi hatuna nafasi sisi tuko ndani ya serikali tunafuata sheria polisi ndio watakabiliana na yeye kwa sababu hiyo ndio kazi yao na vile ichungwa amesema huyu mzee akitendawili kama hujui sisi kama hujui mimi vizuri kama hujui ukemani ichongwa hujui ndede nyoro watoto wa maumau kwenda tafuta uru kenyata umuulize hiyo vijana watatu ni rangi gani si huyu kenyata alikuwa kwa kwa mamlaka tukamwambia atembe alienda nyumbani na aibu na sisi tulimwambia uru kenyata uwezi kutuletea mtu ya kuharibu mali mtu ya kuchokora Kenya alisumbua baba yako amesumbua kebaki amesumbua moi amekusumbua ati tuletee tuunge yeye mkono sasa huyu mzee amekasirika ati wakikuyu walikataa kumuunga mkono anapanga watu atiharibu mali ya wakikuyu ati atuumize abachana na dindi nyoro na kimani chongo hao ni watu wadogo akuje kwangu si ameshindwa na rais sasa akuje kwangu ndio tueleza na maneno mawili matatu sisi tunapenda wazee tutamwambia maneno mbili tatu na rais wetu this country is a country of the rule of law we have a constitution we cannot violate the constitution by engaging a leader engaging in criminal acts into a discussion kama anataka mazungumzo ni mambo mawili akuje pale kwa rais atafute appointment kwa controller of state house na atakuta mimi nimeketi hapo na notebook mambo ya kujadiliana na Raila Odinga is one agenda only to discuss his exit from Kenyan politics and permanent retirement from this country hiyo tutasugumza na yeye ya pili tunamwalika yeye na ndugu yake Uhuru Kenyatta for another discussion mali iliporwa the last three months of the administration ile walichukua 15 billion in 26 minutes 34 billion ya fuel levy we can have a discussion with Raila and Uhuru hiyo pesa watarudisha siku gani that is a conversation we can have and their final conversation is to tell us ile pesa walichukua wakapeleka ya Padora Cayman's Island watarudisha lini inue uchumi wetu that is a discussion we can have with Raila Odinga with his hardship brother mambo ati ataingia kwa serikali ya William Ruto kupitia mlango ya nyuma hiyo haiwezekani mnataka ingia asiingie we cannot and you cannot intimidate the people of Kenya year after year we cannot succumb to blackmail 